In this video, we're going to talk about how to assemble the 2x2x2 Meridian enclosure. So the first thing we're going to do is go through all the components of your 2x2x2 Meridian enclosure. So first, let's start with the grommets. You have two options here. One is your wire grommet that will allow you to run wires or fogging systems, uh, anything like that, right through the back of the enclosure. And the other one is a solid plug. If you're not gonna run any wires and you're afraid of any escapees, you can just put this in the, in the grommet hole and it'll seal it all up for you. Next is the door lock, and this is a twisting door lock that we're gonna use on our door when everything's assembled. The enclosure comes with eight screws and a hexagon tool to help put the enclosure together. We've got the double-sided tape for your substrate shield if you decide to use it. Now we did peel the paper off the, the shield, so when you receive it, there may be a brown paper or a uh, plastic film that's on this. You're gonna need to peel that off. Same thing with the door and the humidity shield. Speaking of humidity shield, we include a humidity shield. If you have a high humidity reptile and you wanna be able to trap some more humidity in the enclosure, you'll go ahead and use this. Your acrylic door two side panels, the main base of your enclosure, which is already pre-attached and pre-assembled. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna flip it and it'll be ready like that. So let me show you how to assemble it. Okay, so now we're gonna build the main part of the enclosure, and this is super easy. All you're gonna do is take one of these side panels and you're gonna look for this front channel right here. And there's, you can see there's a little notch right here and that's actually where the lock goes. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, lift it up, flip it, and as you can see, it's just gonna slide into a channel right there, over the top like this, into the top channel. One side's in. We're gonna take the other side, do the same thing. Line that up, up over the top. Now what we're gonna do is start screwing the top together. So what I wanna do is I wanna take these four screws and I'm gonna drop them. One, uh, two in the front, two in the back. But before I do that, I wanna make sure when I look in here that the hole and then the screw receiving side is, is lined up. So I can put that together. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side. Just make sure they're nice and lined up. Being honest, it's a little bit harder for me to do when I don't have my glasses on, but this is okay. What I'm noticing is I'm having a hard time getting this in because it's not lined up properly. So I'm going to spin this around and show you what the issue is just so you don't run into the same problem. So on the back we have these slide locks that lock this back panel into the mainframe of the, of the enclosure. But what happens if your slide lock is out it actually prevents proper alignment. So what I have to do is just push that back in. Then I can get this together correctly. It lines up a little nicer. And there we go. So if for some reason the alignment's not right, just double check your locks in the back. Okay, now that the top is screwed in, we're gonna flip the whole thing over, align all the holes on the bottom, and then screw that together. Now that I've got the enclosure flipped over, I'm gonna start to put the screws in, but I'm not gonna tighten them all the way because I need to make sure I put my door in and that it's properly aligned to the, in the enclosure then I can tighten it, it'll be nice and secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and align these, get them ready to be screwed in, just to tighten them up a little bit. Give myself a little bit of wiggle room as well. I'm gonna wait on the front two screws until I get the door in. So let me flip to the other side, show you how I'm gonna put the door in, and then we'll tighten the front two screws. To this little hole, both on the top and the bottom of the enclosure. So we're just gonna line it up. Okay, now it's locked in place, so that's great. And we're gonna put in our final two screws on the bottom. So 
now we're going to tighten the back two screws. Just make sure everything's nice and tight. Okay. And we're going to flip it all back over again. So next you need the door lock. And you're going to take these little screws right here and slide. There's four of them. And you're going to slide it right through here. So there's a little bit coming through the back. And you're going to line it up with these four holes right on the door. And then on the back, use this little, little nut right back there. And handy dandy screwdriver. And go ahead and tighten it up just a little bit. And you're going to do that to all four screws until it's nice and secure. So next we're going to decide which grommet you want to use. Again, if you want to use um, any internal lighting or missing systems, you're going to want to use the grommet here, or you're going to want to use the plug if you're not going to be doing that. So in this particular case, we're just going to go with the regular grommet. We're going to slide it right in here. That's all set. For the substrate shield, should you decide that you want to use loose substrate inside the enclosure, you're going to take the double-sided tape and you're just going to run it around the edges here, take it right inside the enclosure, right up to the front, and then you're going to want to press it so the tape adheres to the front. And finally, for the humidity shield, if you decide to use it, it's really simple. You just lay it on top of the screen. So the last part of assembly is just getting your back panel locked into place. And we have four slide locks, one on each corner, that you're going to want to slide into the frame and make sure it's nice and secure. What I forgot to mention earlier is that we actually have a little suction cup that will help you align the back panel if you need it. Uh, sometimes it goes right in, no problem. Sometimes this is very helpful. So what I'm going to do is just line this to the back panel and I'll slide that in. Didn't need the suction cup for that one, so that's nice. It's locked into place. And I just continue the process. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other three corners. As always, if you have any questions about how to assemble this Meridian enclosure, contact us at support at zenhabitats.com or go to our website and use the chat feature. Thanks everybody.